My name is Frederick Baker. I work with the University of Cambridge and I'm a cultural digital heritage researcher and uh, I'm a virtual reality director as well. What I've heard about the Torch Initiative, what I see about the Torch Initiative is that I think it needs to have far more diversity within it. The point about it is, is that Europe is about a process of values. It's a negotiation of those values. And it's the same in a sense with religion. And one of the key religious aspects, I'm Catholic myself, but one of the key as aspects today is tolerance. Um, and in that sense, I think that that's one of the key things that we need to be tolerant towards each other's monuments, to each other's institutions, because they're different vessels in which people are seeking answers to the big questions. And for example, this process is also continuing, and I think that's an important thing about the torch. You know, the torch is being handed on. So in West London, there is an incredibly beautiful uh, Hindu temple that has been built of Carrara marble that was sculpted in India um, and is there for people to see and to worship in West London. Now that I see as being part of the cultural heritage just as much as the small little chapels of the Welsh speaking Methodists that are falling apart or in England where one of the biggest problems of cultural heritage is there were so many Protestant chapels in the industrialization uh, with the secularization of society they've now and I did a film about this that's why I know it have been changed into all different sorts of things the great Austrian composer Gustav Mahler said tradition is always about passing on the flame and not just worshiping the ash you know and I think that's a crucial thing with this flame initiative is that you think it's about the positive sides of the religious uh, traditions here in Europe, that that flame is continued, you know. Uh, always, and so that's why I'm saying, looking particularly for also these places or squares where all of this is next to it. There are squares in places in the former Austrian uh, Hungarian Empire, uh, places that are now Romania, where you have the synagogue next to a Catholic church, next to a Protestant church, you know, on the main square. Those are places to be highlighted because that's, that's got to be the tradition of the future of Europe.